Hey guys, welcome to Hip Use History. We're gonna do it. We're gonna talk about President Obama's recent announcement of his executive actions regarding gun control and whether or not you think that this is a violation of the Second Amendment and we're on the road to tyranny or whether you just think that this is common sense actions by the president, we're gonna to try to ride the lightning right now. Of course, after the recent gun tragedies, there's been a lot of pressure from the left on the president to do something about gun control, and considering that he's not able to really sway any piece of legislation through Congress, President Obama has instead taken the road of executive action. According to Obama and his supporters, he is just merely faithfully executing the laws as they already exist, trying to define them, to give them breath, to make them more enforceable. On the other side, his opponents are saying that he is making new law, therefore bypassing Congress, making his executive actions unconstitutional. And there's a number of executive actions that he is recommending. He's recommending an increase of about um, half a trillion dollars towards mental health care. He's asking for a new requirement for guns that are lost in transport of legal sales now have to be reported to the government. He wants uh, about a 50% increase in FBI agents that are in charge of running the background checks, considering after three days, if you don't get your background check, you get your gun. President Obama says that we need more agents to do these background checks 24-7 so we can follow the law as it is currently written. He also wants more ATF agents in order to enforce current law, and he's also asking the states for or more reporting in terms of people that would be disqualified for purchasing guns, felons, those convicted of domestic violence, those with um, mental disqualifications. He also wants more money put into smart gun research to try to make guns safer. But the most controversial is him trying to close the gun show loophole. And I'm doing this so people who don't believe in the gun show loophole don't have a coronary and die in front of me. But the gun show loophole is very controversial and whether it exists or not, we're gonna talk about it just a little bit. Obama said that 40% of gun purchases do not require or do not have right now a background check. And while that is true, about 29% of that 40% is being made up of private transactions that aren't occurring online, that aren't occurring at gun shows, that are occurring between neighbors, between family members. Uh, when somebody dies, the gun's getting passed on. And those private transactions will not be affected by these presidential actions. But out of that 11% that's still remaining of that 40%, if I'm doing my math correctly, about three or four percent um, are online sales that do not require background checks and about three four percent are done at gun shows so what obama is trying to do is attack that very small percentage of people that are getting guns at gun shows and online that are not doing background checks and there are many people that are on the right that say that this simply doesn't exist or it's such a small problem that president obama is just engaging in political theater but the way that the law is currently written and this goes back to the Brady Bill and background checks in general, is there's a differentiation between those who are officially in the business of selling guns and those who are occasionally selling guns. And what Obama's rationale is, is that he's trying to narrow the gap between that definition. So people that are posing as private individuals selling guns and are really in the business of selling guns will now be caught in this new definition. Obama's rationale is that background checks work. He said in the last 20 years, about two million people have been denied guns because of these background checks, including about 1.2 million felons. And of course, people on the other side say that right now, it's such a low percentage of people that are buying guns illegally at gun shows that you are just getting in the way of people that are trying to buy guns legally. But at the end of the day, Obama's rationale for his executive actions is that he is faithfully executing the law as it is written, trying to make sure that people that are officially in the business of selling guns are now going to be defined using some type of criteria used by the ATF, including number of guns being sold, how long you're holding on to the guns, and whether or not you're doing marketing to sell those guns. And on the flip side, people are saying that Obama has crossed the line, he is heading towards dictatorship, he's making new law, and I want to know what you think about it right now down in the comments below. So giddy up for the learning, guys. We hope you know a little bit more about Obama's recent announcement on executive actions on guns. So thanks for watching. Make sure you watch lots of other videos, and always remember where attention goes, energy flows. Bang, bang. I should do bang, bang.